Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, you know, it's interesting. I'm kind of. This has been a great debate. I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's an interesting issue. I, I'm one of those that hates uh, when you're in a restaurant and somebody's on a cell phone next to you. Uh, it's annoying. Um, but I think we have to really think very seriously what we're about to do. Um, the chairman and I, and I and I don't usually disagree with Chairman Oberstar uh, on, on issues in, in this committee. I think he is he, he does a wonderful job. He's responsible. He's thorough. He listens and he's very fair. But in this one, I think after listening to the debate, um, I, I think I have to disagree, and, and I'll tell you why. Um, if the federal government in my opinion, is going to ban, take the action to ban something that people do, free people do, it can't be because we're annoyed. In my opinion, it's got to be because there's a real serious reason for it. I've heard some anecdotes now in, in Europe how, um, whether we agree or disagree with, but, but in Europe how they ban cell phones in cars and the chairman uh, because the chairman obviously is, is, has, always has his facts, uh, way beyond what we tend to have, the chairman usually does, I mentioned though that when, when they did that, that it cut down on fatalities. Now, one could agree or disagree with whether it's a good idea or not a, bad, uh, not a good idea for government to ban cell phone use in cars, but at least one understands why they did it, because it cuts down on fatalities, not because it's annoying. And all the anecdotes that I've heard in committee today on the proponents of this bill have been anecdotal about it's unpleasant. Not because it's going to cut down on fatalities. Not, the chairman, again, rightfully so, whether you were on one side or the other of the issue on tobacco in airplanes, mentioned the fact of, of some, some very, very, I think, worthwhile issues that were brought up during that, that debate. And I was not here during that debate, but. But, but Chairman mentioned about the health issues. Um, now, if there's a health issue with having somebody next to you speaking on a cell phone, that's one thing. But again, all the anecdotal evidence that I've heard today, which is just that, anecdotal evidence, is that it's unpleasant. Um, that it's a conversation I don't want to hear. You know, there are many people, and I was one of them until I was blessed with a child. Well, I should say until my wife was blessed with a child. That had very little to do with it. I, you know, obviously, she did most of the work. But until my family was, and I were blessed with a child, nothing annoyed me more than kids crying in an airplane. Nothing. Now, that changes when you have a child. All of us who <laughs> have gone through that know that. Nothing in the, the, probably the second worst thing to me was a diaper change. Uh, or, or, or a, a kid with a dirty diaper next to you. That also changes when you have a kid, obviously. But if we're going to start going to this very dramatic action, which is Congress is going to ban something, and we're going to start doing it not because of health concerns, not because of safety concerns. Now, if the gentleman would yield. Of course, of course, Mr. Chairman. Um, remember. The flight attendants, who are the professionals in the cabin, are totally supportive, and they say it is a legitimate safety and workplace concern uh, from their opinion. They already have problems with air rage. They fully expect this is going to lead to more problems, more disturbances in the cabin, so they are making it a safety concern. And the second point would be it is currently banned to use cell phones on airplanes. So what we're, we're basically precluding the lifting of the ban here. We're not imposing something that doesn't exist today. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I, I think very valid points. And, and obviously, look, we have to listen and we have to respect the opinions of the professionals on the airplanes. But they are currently banned. But now, again, we're going to now institute a law to ban it and to keep that ban. And I think if we do so, it better be based on really serious, concrete, scientific evidence not an anecdotal. And correct, there is a ban right now. So how do we know? How do we know that if people start speaking on, on cell phones, that the world is going to come to an end? It hasn't happened in restaurants. It hasn't happened in restaurants. So I just, again, I think this is a very, very serious issue. And I think if we're going to go do, so, do something like this, uh, it should be based on real scientific 
real, real, real scientific evidence uh, before Congress goes ahead and, and enacts something like this. Now, by the way, on a lighter note, to leave it on a lighter note, I, uh, Chairman DeFazio talked about, I believe, that uh, Dear John um, call. You know, maybe, maybe if that person would have been able to stay on the phone, we could have saved the marriage. I don't know. But, uh, and of course, that's, that's I'm, I'm obviously, uh, that's tongue in cheek. But, but, but the reality is, I just think that if we're going to make, take a measure like this, it should be based more than on just my opinion. My personal opinion is I don't want a cell phone on the, on the plane. But I just think that if we're going to ban something, it should be more than just based on that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, again, for always allowing me to express Chair, thanks. the Chair, uh, thanks. My understanding is that, for example, that text machines like Blackberries would not be outlawed, would not be banned. Um, they have cameras as well. I think the issue of cameras, if you're not allowed to take pictures, is a good issue. But then we have to outlaw computers that have cameras, because, you know, computers now do have cameras. Many do. Blackberries have cameras. Texting devices have cameras. I think we can't miss, we can't lose sight of the issue here. Number one, um, and, and and number two, paying attention. I, again, I'm not disagreeing with, but I think just we're just taking it overboard a little bit. If if the if the concern is cameras, let's let's deal with that. But we're not stopping that because a person who wants to do something bad, and if this law and this ban continues, we'll use a BlackBerry with a camera, and then I guess we'll have to deal with that because this doesn't deal with that. This doesn't solve that. Uh, or, or the issue of paying attention. Uh, you know, when I travel with my two and a half year old kid, I, I take a DVD player. Um, we should then, we gotta ban those and we gotta ban computers. I think we gotta kind of focus on the issue at hand. The issue at hand is, is, is there a security, is there a health risk with phones? And I think there, uh, that's the issue at hand and I don't, I don't see that, I haven't gotten any good evidence that that is. And again, thank you the gentleman for for uh, for allowing me to uh, to speak again. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The uh, chair thanks the gentleman.